Success in life and career is not a function of your degree or the type of college you attended, but rather it is a function of one's character and attitude towards everything. Welcome to Common Sense with Freddie. Yes, as we all know, character and attitude are a function of how we maximize and make use of our common sense. Hence, in today's Common Sense with Freddy, I would like to remind you all that common sense is not common. If it was, everyone in every sphere of life would be bawling. Many of my connections, mentees and prospective mentees ask me daily how I secured a full scholarship for piloting in the United States. And my response has always been simple. I planned, strategized, and I positioned myself for the given opportunity. My daily principle has always been that I must be sensitive to any given location that I find myself in because my miracle or blessing might just be anywhere. This kept distraction far away from me. Thus, increasing positioned activities geared towards career and life growth. Upon joining Arik Air after three years of joblessness, I was exposed to so many politicians, celebrities, and foreign based passengers on board the aircraft. With my charming smile and professional attitude, I got blessings and favors daily. I was very good at my job responsibilities. Little wonder one of our regular passengers who happened to be a lecturer wrote about me in his published textbook stating how pleasant I was in serving him on board the aircraft. All said and done, I decided to use my earnings to secure admission in a flight school and got all the paperwork ready and set to go. I placed them on my carry-on luggage each time I went on the flight. And one day I ran into my former governor on board the aircraft. Please do not try my stunt. It was a huge risk and unprofessional. But you see, I needed to take my destiny by my hands. I had paid other dues with great character, relationship building, and respect to authorities. I took a bold step to approach Governor Akbabio in the business class. I expressed my intention in our vernacular language and he immediately requested for the admission papers which I handed over to him. And he approved the funds for me to travel for the flight training in the United States. Listen, I know many would not consider using their money to secure the admission first. Many would not have considered ensuring they go to the flight school as planned after receiving the cash. In fact, many never considered this move way before. But once I pulled through, they tried emulating my action by tracking their governor on board as well. Listen to the common sense here, guys. One, be sensitive to your location at all times. Two, Plan your hustle ahead just in case you find yourself in a given or an unexpected location. You are not caught unprepared. 3. Build a relationship with people. First think of impacting people at any given opportunity or given location. Sometimes to impact may demand some sacrifices. Please don't hold back. I had to positively impact colleagues in operations, ticketing, and other superiors to better gain their favor. 4. Be prepared to read, research, and gather resources from the internet and connections. 5. Keep good friends who will give you better advice and support you. My very good friend and brother who is also a coach on the academy whom I speak highly about has always been a great confidence from time to time. Find your own confidence. Until I come again with more Common Sense with Freddy, thanks for watching.
to my esteemed subscribers thanks so much and to my visitors please subscribe to my channel and stay with us and if you need career mentorship on seeking scholarships or life coaching please visit Wilfred Asuko Impact Academy please check the description box for the sign up link bye for now